Hey, my beautiful people, welcome, welcome back. I wanted to bring you guys even more great opportunities as we start to get to the end of the week to give you more options. Because y'all know I love to give you guys multiple different options. So today we are gonna go over a roll from Frontier and I do have some bonus opportunities that I do also wanna go through. So make sure you do stay tuned for the entire video so you can see which opportunities better fit with what you're looking for for with your career and your lifestyle. Now we will be going over some entry level jobs as well as some jobs that do require a little more experience. So let's hop right into them. So the very first opportunity I want to bring to you is through FedEx. This is their customs trade coordinator role. You will be doing this within their operations. It is a remote role but it is remote in New York. So keep that in mind if you're not in New York. We will be going over other roles but I did want to bring this role to anyone that's in New York and also so to give you guys just a little note that FedEx is still hiring. I did do a video a few weeks ago about several jobs that were available at FedEx. So I did want to bring this back and just do a little repeat to let you guys also know that FedEx is hiring and they do have additional roles. So here is the job ID for this specific opportunity. Now, some of the benefits that you get with them is salary increase, tuition assistance, paid time off, healthcare program, like the medical, dental, and vision coverage, you'll get life insurance 401k for retirement, reduced shipping rates. And then you also do get discount programs like cars, restaurants, movies, daycare, pet care, all kinds of things. Now for this specific role, you will provide impeccable customer service. You'll obtain correct classification of goods and custom releases for databases, standard operating procedures, tariff books, internet or customs. You'll also do some data entry and processing of various import related documents for submission to U.S. Customs. You'll maintain and keep current all shipment documents in compliance with all record keeping. You'll adhere to the international importing and exporting regulations. You'll work closely with cross-functional teams, manage handling remote filings, and a slew of other things. Now the qualifications for this role is a high school diploma or GED. You don't need any industry experience so it is more of an entry-level role. You are going to need some data entry keyboard experience is required and also you do need to know Microsoft Office and the basic things like phone, fax, photocopier, printer, those kinds of things. You're going to need excellent communication skills, organizational skills, be very personable, be a problem solver and be able to handle high volume of work and also being able to maneuver between different kind of systems and reference materials, interacting with customers, carriers, brokers, government agencies, internal staff, and a slew of other management professionals. And they also do give you paid training. Now the shift will be Monday through Thursday, 7 a.m. to 3.30 p.m. and then Sunday, 6.30 a.m. to 3 o'clock p.m. So you will have Fridays and Saturdays off. It is in New York. The role is more of a hybrid role with some work from home opportunity and some in office work depending upon a company policy. So it is more of a hybrid. You will be going into the office maybe a couple times a week and then working fully remote. The position does pay $13 to 63 cent up to $21.59 per hour because it is entry level and then that does also depend upon your experience location the company and a slew of other things now what I always tell people as well is that you want to negotiate your rate no matter what you do see on a job description the amount of pay that you do see on a job description is never the total amount of pay that they have budgeted for this role so you always do want to make sure you are negotiating for yourself when you are going into interviews. So if you're interested in this and you are within this New York location, definitely get over. Once again, this is the customs trade coordinator role with FedEx. The very next role that I do have for you is the collections portfolio specialist role. This one is with Quadient. Quadient is an international company that specializes in mailing equipment and different kind of business process automations. Getting on down into more about this role 
it is a fully remote position. In this role, you will provide point of contact for customers. So you'll be designated to review their account receivable portfolio. You'll review all delinquent accounts and perform customer service related collection activities. You'll analyze and resolve problems by coordinating with appropriate departments. You'll respond to external and internal inquiries regarding payment and case escalation statuses. You'll meet established standards for collection performance and you'll partner with sales, organization, dealers, field office management to communicate statuses of accounts. Now, what they are looking for from you is two to four years of commercial collection or customer service experience is a plus. And they will also consider college graduates with strong customer centric personalities. You're going to need strong interpersonal skills, a proven track record of making 50 or more effective customer contacts daily and being able to manage a portfolio larger than $3 million. You're going to need to have really great oral and written communication skills. If you do have a four-year degree, that is a plus. It's desirable, but it's not a requirement to get the job. Also, being able to have basic knowledge of Oracle or Salesforce is desirable. It's a plus if you have it, but you don't need it. And their customer relationship management systems and sell systems. And also just having that really customer-centric attitude, being really analytical and being a problem solver. Now, the rate of pay for this specific role is $19.38 up to $29.09, of course, depending on your education, where you're sitting in the United States and your skill level. Now, some of the benefits that you do get with this role is the medical dental vision, the 401k with the company match, life and disability insurance, paid vacation time, career and leadership development, tuition reimbursement programs, and company sponsored groups. So definitely if you're interested in this role and you do have more of accounts receivable, accounts payable background, this might be a really great opportunity for you with Quadient. Definitely check this out, get over, review it, apply if this is something you're interested in, as this can be a really great role if you do have that added experience. Now, I do want to remind you, you can definitely check out my free resources down in the description box. I do have a entry level remote job title list for all of my entry level people. In the event that you are looking for a job, it does help you hone in on specific jobs that are designated and targeting entry level job seekers. So definitely that's a free resource that you can have in your resource toolbox to help you on your job search journey. If you're interested, you can find that down in the description description box. Now, if you are looking for specifically what to put on your actual resume, you can also check out my remote job keyword guide, which is found also in the description box and the pinned comments. It does give you over 300 different keywords in over 11 different industries to help you spruce up your resume quickly so you can apply to the jobs that you are looking for. You also do get several different bonuses when getting the keyword guide. So you can find that resource down in the description box, as well as the pinned comment if you're interested in that. If you've been a lurker and you have not become a part of the family as of yet, do so right this minute by subscribing to the channel, turning that bell notification on, and clicking all so you can be notified every single time I drop new videos with brand new roles and you don't miss out on anything. We would love to have you a part of our tight-knit family here on YouTube, and we would love to help you find your next lucrative remote job. Now, I always want to open it up to let me know what industry you're in and what kind of jobs you're looking for down in the comments so I can definitely pull some leads together to help you guys specifically on your job search journey. I am going to be starting series in the beginning of the year where I am going to designate videos specifically to the community here and the request of the community. So make sure you definitely get down in those comments and hit me up. Now let's get into the next role I have for you today. This one is through Trinity Health. They are a healthcare system nationally known. This specific role I am bringing to you today through Trinity Health is their customer service rep role. It is a remote position. Here is the job ID for this position. It is a full-time position. And with this position, the essential functions is performing daily activities to assist customers and to handle various self pay and insurance billing and collection functions. So you assist patients with resolving billing issues, handling complaints, and setting up 
payment options. You'll document customer complaints, issues, and interactions in appropriate systems. You'll track any trends of customer interactions and recommendations for resolutions of any issues to your supervisor. And you'll escalate issues as they need to be escalated. But within this role, you will be solutioning patient accounts, ensuring that you have updated insurance information, reaching out to them to see if they need some self-pay options like getting on a payment plan to pay down bills or if there was a copay or something like that just calling them letting them know there was a copay so they can update the account and get those solutions now the minimum requirements for this role is having a high school diploma or associate's degree in accounting or business administration or a related field and up to one year of experience or relevant knowledge of revenue cycle functions and systems working within a healthcare or clinical environment. So you're going to need that high school diploma or one year of experience doing something in customer service or understanding the revenue cycle. If you do have an associate's degree, it can be in accounting or business administration. You can have a slew of different combinations as well. Like if you have experience in a hospital or clinical environment, a health insurance company, managed care organization, or other healthcare financial service settings, performing medical bill claim processing, financial counseling, financial clearancing, accounting or customer service activities, or equivalent combination of education and experience. So you can have a slew of different experience as long as it kind of is in that medical field or customer service or something of that sort. If you do have previous service call center experience, that's also something they're looking for and being able to respond to customer inquiries and expectations is really great. Having good verbal and written communication skills and organizational skills, being really interpersonal, having that real personalized experience and wanting to provide customers with great resolutions and solutions is something they're looking for and paying attention to detail as well. They want to make sure that you can work independently, but also that you have a basic knowledge and understanding of Microsoft Office, including Outlook, Word, PowerPoint, and Excel, and that you can work really well with cross-functioning teams and collaboration. Now, as far as the physical and mental requirements, it is more of a desk job. So they just have here that you will be sitting most of the time. You're going to be utilizing the phone, those kinds of things to be able to communicate really well. Now, this actual role is paying $18.46 up to $27.60 per hour. So really a great rate of pay. If you are interested in this role, definitely check this job description out. See if it really fits with what you're looking for and and hop on over to Trinity Health and apply as soon as possible. As you guys know, these roles do go very quickly. So getting over into the Frontier role that I do have for you, this one is their Manager of Disabilities and Escalations. It is a remote position. Getting more into the details, some of the benefits and the perks that you will get with Frontier is you'll get flight benefits for you and your family to fly on Frontier Airlines. You'll get buddy passes for your friends so they can experience what makes them so great. You'll also get discounts for the travel industry like hotel, car rentals, cruises, vacation packages. You'll get discounts on cell phone plans, movie tickets, restaurants, and a slew of other things. They also have dress for your day, business casual environment. You'll get flexible work schedules that support work-life balances. They also do have a total rewards program that includes a comprehensive base salary, short-term incentives, long-term incentives, pay holidays, 401k plan, vacation, sick time, medical, dental, vision insurance, and that all does begin on the first of the month following your hire date. So getting more into the essential functions of this job, you'll manage escalated and disability complaints response times in accordance with regulations. You'll analyze complaint trends and recommend mitigation strategies. You'll escalate high priority items to the appropriate departments. You'll prepare prepare statistics, KPIs, and trend reports for use in the complaint management and reduction process. You'll build and maintain the customer advocate content policy process guidelines, escalations, and appeal processes, and you'll develop efficient tracking procedures to track complaints. Now, the disability part, you'll collaborate with disability organizations to gain insight regarding the needs of travelers with disabilities. You'll update frontier management on any significant issues as well as the annual disability 
the travel report. You'll identify policies and procedures, inconsistencies and customer service breakdowns to provide recommendations for improvement in frontier policy makers. You'll lead or participate in various special projects as well, and you'll serve as a subject matter expert regarding regulations around customer protections within aviation. So this role is really honing in more on ensuring that Frontier is abiding by disability laws for passengers specifically. So the qualifications for this role is having six years of customer facing complaint or dispute resolution experience in customer care or in an airline. And that does also include areas of operation and or customer care. You're going to need eight years of management experience of at least two or more employees. You're also going to need three years of vendor partnership experience. If you do have a bachelor's degree in business, business analytics, mathematics, operational research or other related analytical fields that is required or a combination of relevant experience in lieu of the degree. So you don't need the degree if you do have the experience that we just went over. You're going to need prior experience with complex data sets and prior experience with quality control or quality assurance. You're going to need prior experience with customer data and reporting systems. That is also a plus. Now, knowledge and skills, abilities, they have the usual ones here, like being a really great listener and communicator, being able to prioritize your tasks, being analytical and being a problem solver, being able to work with cross-functioning teams. Some of the more specific ones they have here is working knowledge of regulations that impact airline travel. If you're familiar with federal regulations as well for non-discrimination and disability in air travel, that's a plus. Have a knowledge of Excel, Word, Outlook, the Microsoft softwares, as well as data softwares like Power BI is great. And having a sense of humor and just being motivated and encouraging. The equipment you're going to need is standard office equipment, including a PC, a copier, a fax machine, and a printer. Now, this actual role is paying $60,000 to $83,000 annually. So do keep that in mind if you're interested and you have that extensive background and experience, definitely check this role out, which is the manager of disability and escalations with Frontier. Now, if you're wondering what keywords to put on your resume, definitely check out my hot keyword guide, which does give you over 300 different hot resume keywords for over 11 different industries to help you spruce up your resume as quickly as possible so you can get your resume ready to apply for the jobs that you're interested in. You also do get some bonuses with the keyword guide. You can find that down in the description as well as the pinned comments. Now, I love to hear from you guys and hear about what industry you're in so I can help bring more resources directly to you, specifically tailored to what you're looking for. So hit me up in the comments and let me know what industry you're in. Now, if you're new here or you just have not become a part of the family as of yet, make sure you do so right this minute by subscribing to the channel, turning that bell notification on and clicking all so you can be notified every single time I drop new videos with brand new roles and you don't miss out on anything. We would love to have you here and we would hate to miss you. So make sure you do become a part of the family. And the main thing is I want to make sure that you get into your next lucrative job opportunity. So let's make that happen and let's make sure that you become a part of the tight knit family here on YouTube. Until next time, make sure you continue to thrive and you continue to reach for those good old career goals. I will see you guys in the very next one. Bye.